What's up guys, this is the Bowman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So the runoff where we left off, this army was advancing towards Sahedon and we have an opportunity to intercept them with our garrison force. So I think absolutely why not? Let's force them to attack. Because they're not in... Um, but they will come in as a reserve if things go really well. But I doubt that's going to happen, considering we're defending. Um, but they will be there ready to help us hunt down the fleeing stack as they run away. So the army, the enemy does have three units, three units of artillery, so they will make a breach, do stuff. The enemy will try to smash their way in with siege Indeed equipment. they will. Use your heaviest troops to defend any breach. Uh, any, right, right, let's just put line infantry on the main guns. Let's put some riflemen scouts over the gate. some more chaps on the walls. Let's put the second light foot, the first Pennsylvania rifles in position. Good stuff. Then we have a good chunk remaining. So we've got lots of foot artillery, which is fairly useless. So it's going to stay behind the command HQ. Two units of 24 pounders, which will sit on our centre line. Let's keep them away. Make sure they hit each other. Hmm, they're one significantly larger than the other, I don't know. Oops, sorry, I'm going to sneeze. One sec, guys. And I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Um, okay, so we've got... Let's keep the regiment of horse and cassiers outside to keep a bit of space. Let's put General's bodyguard in the centre. We've got two units of infantry and a unit of riflemen ready to deploy. Let's have a quick look at the riflemen, actually. Do not use them before. It's a shame they're not as colourful as their chaps in the thumbnail. I was expecting a bit more stronger stark yellows. Stark yellows. Uh, anyway, I think that's everyone ready. Let's turn them to quick line. They can't fly with quick line, so then they'll fly around shot. Because at least they will then provide some sort of fire. Focusing on this section of the wall. So let's make let's make preparations. Keep fire will off. Okay, now they can click line. Start. Do some good against the artillery. Ooh, big block of cavalry. Wanna be good for that? That's a very tempting target. Our Riffman scouts have engaged already. So in guard mode. Take some time to reload. Send damage on the section of the wall. Good. Good. So these are all just around pleasantry units, so let's make sure we're actually shooting targets of value. Those units got 
absolutely smacked. So they're going to rout when they get engaged by this musket troop, musket unit on the walls. So them to engage these units as they are fleeing because they will return. Okay, 63%. So that's Artillery in some in the head to do some do some damage, but there's no real need. Good to continue. There you go. They've got their breach. It's time to turn. Fire at will on. And let's start. Dropping some quick line inside the breach, and others can actually specifically target troops. I suspect they will wait until their infantry is dead. They will wait for their infantry to be dead before they actually do anything about it. Dervishes. It's probably going to be a bit tricky for our infantry. No, let's actually make one of them drop the quick hand shot just at the bottom of the stairs. last minute to turn my rifle and scouts on to fire at will, so they don't shoot into these guys, because their range is very low. Okay. Good, and that's also killed a lot of dervishes at the bottom of the bottom of the the uh, of the Good, chase them down off of the walls. Okay, so now you go back to firing at the stuff. These guys go back to this section of the wall. Oh, do they get really afraid of those breach of those civilian of those peasants for They come. Fire will of my rifle and scouts. Keep engaging infantry. Oh, that fire by ranks can be a bit ragged because they've. There we go. Now so close, you guys may as well fire a round shot back at Bajia Lancers. Trying to engage me with some musket fire, this is not going to work. Although deadly rifle and scouts is causing lots of casualties, as well as all of the fire by rank. Fire will on. I've got my cavalry, but I don't want to commit them. Um, because I want to keep them fresh. Okay, let's get my infantry here to square formation to respond 
he's here to respond to this cavalry. Are being picked up by both the scouts. And they've run. the speed up somewhat. Yep, yeah, that's not that's got half of the cavalry. Let's aim at these guys to try and make these Baja Lances also route. Yep, yeah, so I've killed half of them. But they're only shaken. Now only shaken. This is our peasantry unit has come back. Poor souls. See this quick line come in. Okay. Fire volleys off. Oh yes, they've got to round out. Change to round shot and go fishing the open dire horseman. So what have they got? A few units of cavalry left. They've killed this gun trail team. Let's speed up time now, actually, because it looks like the AI is going to wander around back here before they actually do anything. They don't want to risk their precious cavalry. So I may have to commit my cavalry just to make them attack. So let's bring them around the flank just to see what they do. Because individually my cavalry is better, well, roughly. My cuirassiers are good when they get into the combat. But they've got so many damn cavalrymen. That it's kind of inevitable. Oh, well, there we go. We've managed to knock down, make one of their one of their foot artillery route. Let's go after the horsemen. Aha! We're moving in. Quick line. Got him. And the old rinse and repeat. <laughs> we're fine they're being engaged by round shot but now they've been engaged by a quick line they do not like it yes you've come too far haven't you yep routing let's bring out my horse artillery team, bring on my horse, my cavalry teams. Good job the cavalry shots came in now. Let's chuck a unit of lances. I'm shooting at them with my riflemen, that's probably a bad idea. Back. See if we can get some quick lamp shots off onto the lances. Reload down your eyes, especially you. Let's get some two chevrons. Crossier is doing most of the work when they're in the combat. 
especially as these guys are lancers, but if we can withstand the charge, then my cavalry starts to chop them up. I mean, come on guys, should be doing super well. Especially doing the route. I mean, I'm surprised they're still hanging around. 15 cavalrymen remaining, 14. It's almost to the point where it's actually a bit dodgy. Not dodgy, per se, to send them in, but you want to be careful now. Just keep picking away at them conventionally. This complete unit towards the rear that's the most concerning. Everyone else is you know, 74 men, 75 men. Good, they are all sending them in. Quickly redefine the target for them. But yeah, I will have a look at pulling these guys back to safety. Heroic victory, damn right. Round and being just very, very cheeky, we managed to pretty much destroy them. That's really good. Let's push them back. Another army's having, or wants to have a go. There's some friends. Of course, that let, let these guys raid. I'm more than happy. There is a degree of unrest in this region, as the majority of the population. I know, but I'm not going to. Do anything about it, and they're still really happy with me. Fair exchange, water power, cloth mill. Let's upgrade you. Let's upgrade you to chap school if you make it. Upgrades to Norway. Stan can also be upgraded. As can nope, Persia can't be upgraded. You're here for the duration. Cool. So, this army, which is pretty all up together, chase down Dianad Pirangut. Pirangu. Yeah, that's pretty much dead. Strength and honor. Drive them back. You ask too much. Yes. Send the cavalry and up to the north. Let's bring this guy down to the south to block off the pass from the mountains. Gathering supplies. This guy stays where he is for now, because he'd be on his own for bo against both of these forces. Make ready. Uh, ready and awaiting order. You need to replenish before I want to push you too far against these guys. No ruins, replenishing. As is Gujarat. Bengal is where it's about to go off still. At the ready. Yeah, so let's put this unit of marines in Calcutta to bring them back up to fighting strength. Everyone yes, else sir. replenish. Oh no, you are replenished. Interesting. Because these are all the fragments of the armies I've destroyed. Largely. You're so let's take sir. this army. March them up here. Onward. Take this army. Ready yeah, let's, them here. let's get ready to start to push them out of Bengal. Humbled, let's move Godfrey up to support we can't here. Do that, sir. And you, to be honest, can hop out Forward. here. Anything more? Actually, Godfrey might stay within Calcutta for now. Natural causes. Woodrow Bestor, an admiral's dead. Natural causes. Sullivan Grimditch, another ship, admiral. Ship Let them die because they're currently not doing anything too valuable for us. Yes, sir. Uh, you are going to stay on this bridge. Oh, just one sec, guys. I'm going to close the window.
and you get to hear my super squeaky chair. Okay, so let's recruit some troops in Mysore to act as the garrison so we can push this army out and start to take out some of these smaller armies. What I want to attack. Nowhere's ideal. Your humble servant. Where are you, where are you going? So let's do some replenishment on the Sind. He won't let me merge them, but pulled some Republican Guard out. Fighting the at off. the ready. March! You're on the march. Yes, sir. Let's get this unit of Marines into Any into further Satara. orders? Because these guys are waiting. They're waiting for their opportunity. See, that, that's a big old... That'd be a pretty big old battle sir. over here. Let's just move them up to Satara. Forward. Nope, that's not triggered them to do anything. So my best effort is works. to, I think, is to take Afghanistan. Take Afghanistan, secure Kabul, and fortify it. Roving the front up. And we might be able to draw some of those armies to the south, up towards us. Of course, it would be good if I could build walls in Afghanistan and do a bit of a defensive work. But... These things happen. Ooh, this is a beautiful position. Artillery up here. Artillery! Oh, this can probably stay on the ground. Down here. Let's take one bunch of infantry. Oh, to be honest, let's make one bunch of infantry advance on the left. The remaining army can advance up on the right. Fairly sure the, the enemy might come from up here. So that's general. General advance with the main line. Yep, and they are advancing from the right. A big melee up there. Let's walk on these guys and let's put my cavalry up. Oh no, this area is untraversable. Just keep them behind my line. And more like there for you, probably. In the town. These guys are all unpopular anyway. Then again, the reinforcing army isn't that strong either. Charging in. Let them. Especially quickly, these guys are yeah, firing into the combat. Don't think that's very good. They'll figure it out. So then, ravage these guys as a retreat with musket fire and artillery fire. Change our foot artillery's priority target towards. Get into 
mission. Alex's, can you reach as well? Yeah, engage the cowboy. Engage the elephants. General with artillery fire. It's just going to clip the corner of my formation. So let's get these line units to advance up. Let's get my cuirassiers up into this free space as well. because they're going downhill. It's the momentum is with them to do some quite extraordinary things. I mean, the, the elephants are there, but...
spin this flank company around. And now out of range of my artillery fire. The hammer's of price just stay where they are. the entirety of it. Okay. It's been a good run. The artillery is trying to snipe my general. Smash into the back of these guys. Let's put these crosshairs out. Let's go. And these guys are winning. It's almost not surprising because they are like cowboy troops. They are melee troops. So it's not surprising. with a heroic victory. Awesome. So we've captured Afghanistan. Yeah, and they do not like us. Probably because they've got a, a school nearby somewhere. Yeah, there it is. University. Knock that down. Minus six will reduce by 15. So they'll be happy. Hooray. Yes, sir. Okay, you move up to the farmland. Immediately. Yes. You move up nearby. Awesome. So let's hit and turn. Let's just make sure I've done everything. 
Like I said, I want to recruit a garrison here so I can start to knock these guys about without risking them doing something annoying and running around and capturing the territory. So let's hit and turn and see what happens. Right, yep, some other forces in the region are moving into the right direction. These are stacks of infantry. My rake. More dregs. Reinforcements. They're going to get mopped up, so I don't know why I'm letting them do that. Well, you do, technically, according to the map, because of Hindustan. Yeah. As they can entice any of them to any of our walls and comp. They're falling back across the river. Massive clump move in that direction. So there, there, there. So these are the raiding armies in Bengal that are depleted. You've moved the right way. So Melvin. I'm not sure where Melvin is. I'm assuming he must be the guy in the. F hoping he's the guy in the fort. I hope. But is that, is that something we want to do? I mean, I'd rather have taken this with another proper unit, so I might actually decline that. Ooh, that's more like it, but that's with Leslie Oliver out in the open field. But it's just one army, so I think I will do that. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for yet another battle against the Maratha forces. Cheers, guys.